morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome to today. Here we are going to start and disassemble that 80 series that you saw in our last video. You watched the last video, right? Well, now we're gonna make some progress. Let's go. Some tools, we're gonna need them. The objective here is to take this entire front axle suspension and steering out in one piece so we can slide it under the Chinook. Now you know what we're doing. Now I gotta figure out how the hell we're gonna do it. This is a high lift jack, a very useful and dangerous device to lift things up. So we're gonna lift this thing up so we can get some more room. And the truck probably isn't gonna see the road anytime soon, so I don't really uh, care too much about any kind of damage that might incur from doing this. I'm not actually sure why I'm lifting it up this high, but it just seems like it'll be easier when it's off the ground. Seems pretty sturdy. Not really. This Land Cruiser has what's called a radius arm setup which is this arm right here. One of the first things we're gonna try is we're gonna unbolt this. Never a good idea to crawl under a vehicle when it's on a high lift jack. Just letting you know. Try and loosen it. Whoa, she's tight, boys. If anyone's looking to get me a Christmas present, I take a size half inch M18 Milwaukee Impact. Oh, it's bending the breaker bar. I know, I'm gonna put this on this side. Hopefully that stays. And then, we're gonna try and stand in the engine bay. Seems like a good idea. I hate these things. Check out this tire. It's pretty nice. Think it would make it to Argentina? Steer's pretty nice when it's uh, off the ground and completely disconnected. When I would go so far as to say it's seized. Try the old foot stomp. Hopefully it doesn't break the breaker bar. It's not what the break and breaker bar means. Oh, that's all my weight. Oh. 200 pounds on that thing and it won't even move. Oh, you see that? You see that? Use the old deadlift technique. I think we got it. Ho, ho, ho. Nice. Those sessions in the gym paid off. A little real world use case. Time for some, uh, I was gonna say hammer, but as mechanics know, everything's a hammer and used correctly. Um, another thing you can add to my Christmas list is an assorted uh, punches, so I don't have to use screwdrivers. Sweet. Now once the weight's off that, it should drop out. Now we've just gotta do the shocks, springs, and steering. So everything, now we just have to do everything. Oh man, come on. Nah, it's just stripping it from the vice grip. <laughs> yeah, I just completely rounded out the end of that. Okay, so we've got the cruiser frame standing up on the high lift, the axle support under the jack stands, and now you can see the spring is just hanging out because there's uh, actually only one thing dangerous, more dangerous than uh, guns, and that is spring compressors. So we're gonna pull these bolts at the top and up here and then this spring should come out completely and we'll try and get the shock out at the same time. Okay, 
There's one. Alright. There's two. Now, before I try and actually remove this whole axle and everything, I'm gonna put some more air in these tires because they don't really look like they're gonna roll that well. <laughs> Okay, so the plan here is to jack the body and frame up as high as I can on the super reliable, not sketchy at all high lift jack. And then I'm going to use the floor jack, lift the axle up so I can take out the blocks and then lower the axle right to the ground, which fingers crossed hopefully will give me enough clearance to roll the entire axle on the wheels out. And then I can lower the body and frame onto the blocks. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. At this point, that brake line is definitely hoops. So I'm just going to cut it. Machete seems like an appropriate tool. Sean, if you're watching this, I definitely need one of those safety second hoodies. front end. Booyah. Whew. Consider that a win. 